Moving on in news, Clark Heupel not yet declared the official Werner resident of the year. He was there for another day at the International Plowing Match and Rural Expo in West Nipissing, specifically in Werner. Mr. Heupel traveled there once again to take in some more rodeo action this time, which included the hair-raising, spine-tingling, bull riding. Yes, Cowboy Clark, as he's now dubbing himself, has the story. Well, Greg, you had to hang on to your hats in Werner as the wind picked up on Thursday. You also had to hang on to your hat if you were brave enough to ride a bull. Several men were and lived to tell the tale. Oh, man. Lonnie Fitz, he gives a knot. Oh, that's a knot. That brave man was Lonnie Smith from Singhampton, Ontario. Uh, well, this is my second bull I've got on after a 14-year break from doing it. And what caused the long break? Um, had some children, family duties, and uh, yeah, just missed it, so I uh, decided to get back on for a couple. What rush does it give you to get on a bull and not knowing what's going to happen? Uh, you can't really explain it, I don't think. <laughs> it just, uh, once it gets in your blood, it's, uh, it's in there. And clearly this has a draw. People are really in tune to this. To have this crowd cheering you on, does that make it even much more of an enriching experience? Uh, you honestly don't hear the crowd in there at all. No way. No. And are you going to ride again? I think that was my last one. Callahan Cunningham came in from Coburg to ride a bull. Oh, it was good. He was pretty, he was pretty nasty in the shoot, but he wasn't as bad as the first time I had him, so I couldn't complain. Why do this? What's, what's the draw to getting on a bull and putting your life at risk? It's that adrenaline. It had eight seconds of just straight adrenaline, if you make eight. <laughs> and what's the longest you've been on a bull? Uh, six and some. Yeah. And this overall experience at the plowing match, yeah. How are you soaking it all in? It's great, actually. I absolutely love a big crowd. I like a big crowd and there's lots of people, so can't complain there. Yeah. And what does it take to be a bull rider? Does, is, is it in your blood? Or? It takes some skill for sure. Definitely some balance and grit. A lot of grit. A lot of grit. Jake Wells is a bull rider from Newmarket. Along with riding the bulls, he also cares for them while on the road. Originally, I started working for the rodeo uh, because my father sold our farm, actually. And uh, so I moved in with the rodeo. And then I kept watching the guys ride, and they all did all the practice shoots and all that, and I, I just couldn't watch anymore. So I was like, I entered one day, borrowed all the gear. Next week, I bought all the gear, and I've been doing it since. Okay, now there are hobbies where there, it's not as dangerous. You could take up reading, and the only thing you could suffer, maybe eye fatigue. Oh, but sure. this, you've had a long list of injuries. To bring me through some of the most recent ones. I got broken ribs on both sides. I broke uh, four bones in this year in this arm because uh, my riding arm, you turn over on it often. Uh, I had a softball-sized blood pocket in my belly from getting stomped on, and then I uh, pulled groin, and my knee got stomped on five times. Why do it then? Uh, well, at first, it's all about the adrenaline that you get when you get on a bull, and like it's just that raw shock and awe of doing it. And then after a while, you meet a lot of people, you get part of the rodeo family, and it's really awesome. Like We have uh, people come up from Brazil, and Sao Paulo and about four riders and they'll be up later in the week and those guys are just a phenomenal bunch and getting to meet and know everybody. And when are you going to be back on a bull from uh, resting your recent injury? I want to try and get on the second show today. I just got to borrow more gear because I left mine at home. From big bad bulls to more predictable ponies, Caroline Marks watched her young daughter Gabby participate in the rodeo. We've been riding rodeos for uh, a little bit now, but uh, defini definitely uh, riding in our hometown is emotional, I guess. She did well. Yeah. She did really good. Proud mom? Yeah, definitely. And celebrating the rural lifestyle, how important is that to uh, yourself and your family to be able to celebrate this in front of people that share the same interest? It's actually really nice for Werner to be able to put out such a big event. I mean, uh, we've had people working day in and day out for months for this and to be able to see uh, the final product and how everybody's enjoying themselves is so nice. Say hi to Cowboy Clark on Friday, he'll be there again.